Hey guys, LV here. As you can see from the title, today we're going to review some new music today. Well, to be honest, I can't really say it's new because it's not really new, but it's somewhat new. But we are going to be reviewing Kodakumi's 57th single, Hotel. As always with my videos, this review was requested. It was requested by the YouTube user Kazuki93. So thank you very much for requesting this. And I do hope you will enjoy the opinions that I'm about to give off this single. So we start off Ku's latest single with another introductory track. I like how within this introduction we get a chance to get acquainted with this hotel manager and his perplexing statements that he keeps telling us. I don't know, it just seemed really funny that he's welcoming us to Kuchan's hotel, but not that I mind it though. I thought it was really cute. I'll admit, when I first heard this, I thought it was a rather odd tune. Everything about it was rather puzzling to me. Like, it was like something I never really heard before. I really wasn't a fan of it at first because I found it a too distinctive for my taste. However, like most songs, I tend to listen to them a few times before I can construct my final thoughts upon them. And based on that, I will say this song has grown on me a lot. I like that it has this distinctive quality to it because it seems to have more of a western groove to it that makes it quite refreshing in certain aspects. Her vocals aren't doing anything too impressive within this mix, yet I did enjoy the playfulness that she placed within them because it made it more, um, fun. And although, like I said, well, although her vocals aren't doing anything too exciting, I will say that I did like the rapping she was doing. Even, like, when I first heard it, I thought the rapping part of it was really interesting. But, um... I'm glad she does because it's like um, a new side to Kodakumi and I really like it. Based off the opinions I originally had on this song, I will say that for this song, I don't think this would be a song anyone would fall in love with right away. Because I don't know, it, this song it took me a couple times for me to like to really like it. And now um, I really like this, I really do like this song. I play it numerous times throughout my day and it's a really good song once you um, get used to its overall... Um, melody to a sense. Overall, I do say that this is a good song. It's not the best I've heard from Ku, yet it was something I thoroughly enjoyed. This isn't my favorite interlude, yet I will admit that it does have a nice beat to it as it keeps carrying on. I also like how you hear these people chilling in the background before the beat takes over and heads into the next song, which we will get to right now. We finally reached the official club banger of this single. <laughs> Wasting no time, we start off with this never-ending chorus that definitely introduces its catchy beat. Despite how repetitive this chorus gets, I still thought it possessed everything that makes a song memorable and maybe even a little addictive. Her English is cute as always, and that's what definitely made this song visibly entertaining to me. I'm a bit sad that it's under three minutes, yet I will say that I did enjoy it while it lasted. And just like the previous tune, I found this really catchy and upbeat, and it's definitely on constant repeat on my iPad. It seems we finally reached the end of our hotel visit. Although I am sad that that is the case, I'm happy that this manager here is sending us his best wishes so that we'll get the chance to come back. And based off his message, I just might. <laughs> Leading into our final track, it seems we finally reached our first actual ballad amongst this single. Based off the arrangement in each flicks, I'd say this is more of an upbeat ballad more than anything else, yet you can still hear these traces of sadness that she's sampling within this mix. I really, really love the way her vocals sound within this piece. They just sound so warm and tender, and that definitely makes them shine in the best light to me. Based off this single, I would say that this is probably the best song off this single, because it's definitely the one that maintains the most character in my opinion. And the chorus to this is utterly breathtaking to me, because it certainly highlights this distinctive beauty that we only find within Ku's signature ballads. This was definitely a gorgeous song because it definitely showcases this really bittersweet fragility I found within this tune. I can easily say this is probably one of her prettiest ballads she's ever done in a while, so this is a very beautiful way to end this single.
Overall, I found this single to be another solid release that highlighted the utter best in Ku because it seemed with this single she was heading into um, a more experimental pop, which I definitely appreciate because it shows that she's heading into some new territory, which ultimately showcases a different side to Kodakumi. Based off the different composements of this single, I will admit that not everything about this single is perfect, yet, as always, the good always outweighs the bad because this single was filled with so many fun and catchy songs that I'll probably listen to over and over again. So that was my review for Kodakumi's 50 seventh single hotel i do hope the youtube user kazuki93 and everyone else who is a fan of ku enjoyed what i had to say on this single because despite some of the criticisms i did state i will say that this was definitely a good um single because it highlighted another side of kodokumi and i'm really eager to see where she'll go next as always with my videos the next thing i'm going to review is going to be another request so if anyone has any more requests they would like me to do just leave them in the comments below or inbox me, doesn't really matter, and I'll be sure to do it in the future for you guys. Once again, thank you guys for watching this video, and I do hope that I'll see you guys in the next review I will do. So until next time, bye!